What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for The Legend of Zelda? Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we have 50 times. <laughs> My name is Tom. With me, as always, is the ever-lovely Lady Lacey. And we are seeing if we have 1,000 Zelda items in our collection. And this time around, it's very special because we have hit number 50. Five, zero. We are 50 items in to the Zelda collection. So we thought we would dedicate this whole episode to just one item, mostly. More on that in a second. Ta-da! It's big and black and in charge. Whoa, that's, <laughs> that's something else. That's something different. There we go, that's a little better. So this is the Legend of Zelda edition Wii U. First of all, we were kind of disappointed from the get-go that the Wii U console itself, it's, it's just, just a plain big black, black, black console. Yeah, they, they didn't put any additional effort into the console whatsoever. And I get that the gamepad is going to be what you see, but still, it would have put like a little filigree on it or something. I, I mean, anything. There's nothing or on the sides. Or a matte shield or something. But yeah, even something on the front would have been nice. So, okay. All right. Well, the gamepad. This is a very, very gorgeous gamepad. I like how simple it is. Yeah. the Just the slight marks that kind of circle the edge of it, you know, and then some of the buttons having the uh, the gold theme to them, of course, but then down by the home button, you have, you know, a little more design coming mm -hmm. up by it. And down in the bottom left corner, of course, the Hillian crest. So it's very, very cool looking. I've always been worried that with extended play, it might get rubbed off, especially with, you know, those being on the edges. I don't know if that would actually happen or not. Maybe I'm just super paranoid like that. <laughs> but this was actually the thing that we were waiting for to get into the Wii U. Yeah. We weren't completely uninterested in the system. It was just, we had a feeling at that time that Nintendo was going to do something Zelda themed. So we waited and it paid off. Yeah. And this was our entry to the Wii U. Fun fact about the Wii U, it came out in November of 2012. So we actually got this for each other as our second wedding anniversary present. How amazingly nerdy is that? Also, it should be noted that uh, I'm going to toss another number in here because this came with a digital copy of Wind Waker HD. So even though it was just a digital game, uh, I think it still counts because... I mean, you buy games, you, you buy digital games, you buy physical games. It counts, right? So, this is number 50. And this is number 51. <laughs> One of the fantastic video game dust sleeves that keep it safe. Now you have no dust to worry about, no fingerprints or anything, but they Doesn't cover it up. Yeah, they they went through that extra touch of designing it to look just like the Zelda yep. gamepad. So that is great. So now we can uh, we can display it proudly and keep it nice and clean. So even though this is our fiftieth and fifty first item, we are once again going to turn it over to one of our nerdlings who has sent us a clip of something from their Zelda collection. So check this out. Hey Tom and Lacey, it's Mike from the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Now I love my Sega Mega Drive and Genesis, but I also love Zelda stuff. items, maybe a few hundred, but my most favorite item is this. Now I have the good fortune of working in the games industry and I've met Miyamoto a couple of times, even demoed him my games that I've made. But this time I actually queued outside a store 
for his first ever visit and his only ever visit to Europe. He came to London, I stayed outside the store, I was maybe 15th in the queue, uh, and I got him to sign this copy of The Legend of Zelda. And then I made this presentation frame for it. So this, I got the front cover of Nintendo magazine, and then inside, actually, let's turn it over. Here it is, this is him <laughs> signing my copy. So I got a photograph of him signing my copy, and there's the date he came to London on the 21st of February 2003, and he signed this copy here. And then I've made this little frame here to keep it nicely protected. And there it is. Not only my most favorite piece of Zelda memorabilia, but also the best thing in my games collection. So there you go, my most favorite Zelda item in my games collection. And Tom, if you get over a thousand, make sure you send some stuff my way. Wow, that was freaking awesome. Uh, we are definitely in good company when it comes to Zelda collecting. So guys, if you would like to join us, please send a two minute or less video clip to the email in the description down below. And there you have it. Big number time, 50 with the Wii U Zelda edition, 51 with this lovely little dust sleeve to keep that gamepad protected, and 52 <laughs> because Wind Waker HD, even in digital form, still counts. Still counts. So leave those comments down below, hit the links in the description, of course, and let us know about your Zelda fandom. Like, subscribe, and join us to see if we can get to 1,000 Zelda items. Bye, nerdlings. Could you believe it? Did you have any doubts?